ODB was, yes, they were SKB2, and they um, they wanted, uh, they, they didn't have any, it wasn't like a, a bad leave. Uh, I spoke to their, their leader. Uh, they, they, it was more or less they wanted more, um, to, to differentiate themselves because you know if you wa follow the discord there's a lot of times where it was supposed to be them scheduled but the schedule would say skb or it was vice versa like they just wanted to separate sure, themselves sure. you know yeah we can see that and actually one of the later clans tonight um the os clan was part of our um, developmental team prior to starting os kind of a similar story they just wanted to go out and make a name for themselves so every time we see them out there, we get excited. Um, you know, we're always rooting for them. So we're excited to see them tonight as well, as well as UGC, of course. So CHF here, this is their second showing uh, on a Monday night stream. I believe last Monday was as their first CHF. time out. As CHF, that's right. You'll recognize a lot of these names um, on their team. Foxhound coming up to the middle, taking spots. Dola in the 132-1. He's rocking the tier 10 light tank. Foxhound is actually one of the newer members to that group. Um, Foxhound was as recently a um, free agent, and uh, I, Marin, and the Chiefs were very, um, very lucky to pick him up. Apparently, I got the camera flying high enough that all I can hear is the hum of the planes. Sorry if that's overwhelming to the viewers. Wouldn't it be nice to include planes into this? <laughs> Dola here's got a nice spot up on the uh, center here. They can't. The ODB guys can't push him because, as you see, the rest of the chiefs are positioned to uh, block that entrance. Have any of those chiefs been spotted yet? I don't think so, but then again, I don't know if ODB has been spotted at least recently. Well, this could get ugly, and this can get ugly really quick. ODB I mean, hasn't realized until this moment that there's two IS-7s flanking them. <sighs> both, both of them land good shots. Mudbone is about to go down. There is a medium out in the back. I, I wonder if he's got really good shots. Yeah, I guess he's got shots. He's putting shots in over here. That snips the bear in the bat chat. Not a bad spot for him. Mudbone goes down. So does J Dog. And just like that, CHF, the Chiefs have a two three tank lead. They took out Blue Eyed Cook on the far right there. Did they come for the push on Modest Rage? Overmatched that gun, got the DPM on him, and it's 4 nothing. ODB's looking like in a, look, they're in a very grim situation right now. Kashopians goes down as well. And At one point it was, a, it was really close and it, it seemed like anybody could take it, but it's starting to roll towards the Chiefs. When those two IS-7s oh, came around and flanked the the ODB team, uh, it, it really shook up their position, and uh, they couldn't go forward, they couldn't go back, and, and they did it unnoticed. They got that team there, they got, it. what was that, five tanks, six tanks that came in there unspotted? Boxhound was up in the middle, just detecting them from the center and playing the distraction game. Uh, he was able to land 20, really 20 30 damage from, from that spot, too. Uh, he, he joined First the battle. First time I've ever seen afterwards. that uh, Chinese tier 10 light tank that we used so far. He was pretty close to getting 2,000 damage, too. Dola and the Wiz 132-1. That's my first tier 10 uh, light tank that I finally get. Is that. 
I know they rolled it. I believe that might be the last third week. time I've seen a light come out. Yeah, I saw another match, and then I know um, Super Waffles apparently ran his first one in the Sheridan. Um, the when Sheridan they first came out, we ran kind of one of the worst of them. It's John Van heavy. Archer, though, leading the damage at yeah. 3505. LT, the LT, uh, the 100 LT is the top uh, light thing. I just picked it up. I've been working with it, trying to get better at it. Or was it, yeah, that was ODB. ODB is on the left. And it's Dola, just uh, just for future reference when you start calling. Ten four. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, they have a lot of muscle. They have a lot of hit points, but that Panzer Seven can get ammo rack like none other. It does not size creep well. Its lower plate just got nerfed. Um, it's just that's a lot of slow moving tanks. Yes. All right. ODB in the red. Chiefs in the blue. First round out on this, on airfield here. Uh, Chiefs made an excellent move and took that one with 50% of their health remaining. Um, <clears throat> their rider's going up to the middle of the spot. So we'll see, uh, I'm picking anything up. Chiefs are sending all of their tanks, other than Dirt Rider for the center scout, up the zero line. I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna fly over there and show you guys because that very edge of the map uh, tends to get clipped by um, by my Xbox display. I'm not sure why. It's not even the stream display. It's my literal Xbox. I myself can't see them. It's vice versa. ODB. It doing the same thing they're sending all their armor over there to the bunkers Everybody's over going here. up their respective uh, zero line or one line and then cutting over at the line so dirt rider's no, been able no. to spot up virtually the entire team for odb except blue-eyed cook in the far back there odb has brought out a lot of health a lot of big heavies here I question why Blue Eyes is still sitting back there, either legged out or what. He is uh, moving. Yeah. I don't know. I Both wasn't... IS-7s are sitting in town. That doesn't make sense to me. I wasn't watching to see what he was doing at the beginning. I wonder if he had uh, something stopping him from participating for the first minute of the battle. Two minutes, even. Uh, but... But both I-7 still sitting in town. Um, instant and that. spotted. Yeah. Dirt Rider's keeping them lit up. Dirt Rider still mine spotted. Look at that. Sit right here on this mountain and you guys can see. J-Dog takes an ammo rack. Chiefs have I've seen themselves that mountain positioned from in other spots. angles as well. They're comfortable with just picking that spot over watching the cap and uh, laying down well, cover. Chiefs are playing the new meta that's up there with the gold clans as well, is once you've caused damage, then that's the one time turtling is an effective strategy. Because as of right now, if it was to end, Chiefs win. Because they have the health to win. So if now, people aren't aware yet, it goes kill all to win, cap to win, most kills win, or most health to win, or damage done. So, now both of these teams are participating in the CW Frontlines event, and uh, I wonder if you're going to see a little bit of a different um, meta for the next week or two, next couple weeks, while well, we've still got 64 teams participating in CW Frontlines. 
uh, where that is, is really the, uh... heavily uh, leaning towards uh, teams that kill. Uh, so it's That's not a just point system, yes, right? where it's not it's just twenty points is. for cap, twenty points for cap, two points for kill, and one point for a surviving tank, correct? Oh, right. They tweaked it just a bit so, more than I last read. So We've been I know planning that, our strategies to keep tanks alive, right. and um, you know, the if we're going to go points, down, as long as we take them with us. The max points basically are forty one or 42 points so say if you kill all but one tank cap out and all your 70 of your tanks are surviving the max points you can get is 41 or four, yeah, yes 41. yes that's correct now you know with that said if you're on the opposing team you're on the losing team if you go and you get beat seven to zero, that's probably the worst you can do. But if you can at least get, if you can take out, take it down to one or two tanks against your final tank, well, even though you lost, that's still a lot better than, you know, losing that seven to nothing. You want to take yeah, as many tanks as you can. Because technically right now, it would just, if the game ended in Clan Wars, it would just be seven points per team. You look at Dirt Rider. Dirt Rider snuck up behind the uh, nips the bear. See what he can do. It's about the most action that's gone on so far. Uh, they're out, so the rest of the teams nips are out the bear, in the field slugging it out. If nips the bear takes out Dirt Rider, and it doesn't matter what the health pool is, technically um, ODB would win this if it came down. One, one kill to nothing. This kills Trump yep. damage. So right now, it was Chiefs in the lead. Now ODB is winning by one kill. So this but, is again, now Now the Chiefs have to start pushing. And make the Mudbone up. and Modest Rage are very, very close to death. We need to get just noon and... Um... Blue-eyed, no, those guys, the guys that's got the hit pulls are the guys that need to be doing the damage right now. So, they I mean, just if you're need going to protect, off of the actually, front line. Yeah, Ooh, but right and now, down goes the guys another going chief. Of, Here comes a late game yeah, push. Right they're looking for Mudbone, they're looking for Modest Rage. They've got to take them both out to tie it up, take the lead on damage. There goes, there goes Mudbone. They, if they put an aggressive push here, they can tie the kills up here by taking out Modest Rage. Modest needs to run. If you watch yeah, it, he needs to get out of there. Fall off the hill, Rage. He needs to get Fall out of there. Fall off the hill. Modest. Oh. Oh, wow. He survives. He's lose this. I can't believe he's he survived that. Lose. So, wow. With the new uh, 2018 that's, that's rules, giving new... that to ODB. Yeah, like I said, this is the new new thing in the rules. This is why Hells and all the WNF, they made it to be very interesting for these pushes. Can't just sit back. So, very, very patient play there by ODB. Even though they were down health, they managed to keep all their guns on the field till late game. And, and with uh, Dirt Rider there making the aggressive push in the bat chat, and going down to nips the bear, the the battle swung in their favor. Uh, they they played it out patiently, and each team lost one more tank apiece. But the as we said, the advantage stayed to ODB with two kills to one, and with that they take the round. Is is that the yeah, first time we've seen that happen? Line rules. No, we've uh, when uh, Immortals played last Monday. Um, it also went to that a lot. Of, it happens a lot with gold te clan teams. Um, what will be very interesting is I would have had to pull out a calculator if that would have gone to two kills to two kills. I would have had to pull out the calculator, gone down every tank, and added up all their health health points, and then added up the damage done to see who would have come out. So that would have been very interesting for me. So. 
I'm not going to lie. I was glad it was came down to kills. <laughs> All right, so we're going to stay on the same side and swap maps. Ready for round three, guys. Now, All right. Round three on Berlin here. This is a common map on the show. It's, uh, I like this map. Um, it, it's, it feels well to brawling in the city, and then you can go play out, especially in pubs, brawl in the city or go out and play in the fields. Uh, actually, within this map, there's little spots that you can actually drive into the little, um, like over in the uh, D8 area, you can drive up into that little box, and a couple of the other ones you can get in there as well. Little sniping spots. Or to run away, like a French tank. <laughs> White flags up. ODB has a bit of a split spawn here. Blue-eyed Cook and Shopians spawning by themselves over on the far right. They made no yeah. hesitation to move up to the G line, though. Was there a split spawn on the cheap side? I, was I, didn't, just on the, uh... I didn't take a look quick enough to notice. By the time I looked, they were all kind of scattered. <laughs> There was a, I think there was a semi-split spawn. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about the map Overlord is it is so random on the spawns that it's just. They need to bring those two spawns closer together. Dirt Rider here doing some jumps over in the, uh, over in the open field. He's all by himself. He's gonna have free reign to come all the way around the map. Probably catch up with him later. For now, he's. Uh, he's yeah. So we're currently. We're currently What's sitting that? here at 1v1, aren't we? 1v1? Yep, it's a 1-1 yep. one, one game. Right taking one on that last map. Really yep. good game. Whose map pick was... Ooh, the U100 uh, just took a shot. 19 just got hit. Yeah. I believe Chiefs picked... Mega. Field, right? And ODB has picked Berlin. ODB picked this map. Chiefs picked the uh, airfield and they split it 1-1. One, one. Big shot coming out from Archer at E100. Ooh, 1090 Yahtzee by the Yageru, Captain Nality. Jolly Roger's going to feel that. Yeah, Archer put a 900 shot into the IS-7, so PD's doing some work right now. Very close on hit points. Ooh, another big one. pop up. Yeah, yeah, right now, yeah, uh, Jonah really Arch, or Joman Archer, in his E4 has 1,700 damage. That's wow. one thing I like about, you can go from tank to tank when you look at them and you can see what everybody's doing for damage, hit points, but consumables. Mm -hmm. Chiefs again doing ODB a good job of getting ahead on the damage, but no tanks have fallen yet. Ooh, another big hit. That push on the right. Captainality and his Yeageru has 2,100, 2,167 so far. And that's from two hits. Buddy Stukes just got ammo racked and repaired. Jolly Roger gets focused and taken down, and he's probably wondering why me, because he is literally the tank at the back from both fronts. <laughs> Hoshopians just got uh, ammo racked. Must have repaired it because that reload is back up to full speed. But Foxhound yeah, and like Stucks are going to push this corner, and I don't think Blue Eyed Cook and Kashopians have the health to I th hold it off. I think it's time for them to push this corner personally. I think it's time to go ahead and take both Stukes and Boxhound, push on that. Well, they had more damage, but go, 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 Boxhound. It's going to be a push in from both sides by the Chiefs here. Oh the man, why is he still up. in? Nips the Bear is oh, looking to be on the wrong end on of the Yeager. There he goes. 
And J Dog finding himself all alone. Gets a kill before so going Chiefs down. So bounce that's two. back. The Chiefs made sure they didn't lose. Uh, they were making sure when they brought that Jaeger, they weren't going to lose by by one or two kill. Just a one or two kill difference on that one. Wow, all of uh, ODB, um, except for two, with about 1,500 damage. Um, damage spread across the Chiefs. It's right on. A couple guys over 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000. I guess if you're Real going good. to bring Yeageru into a map, that is definitely the map to bring it on. The accuracy was on point for most of the Chiefs players here. Uh, Boxhound missed two. Ivy Stucks missed one. But looking through the rest of them, Dola missed one, and John Archer missed one. So, like, they had, they had their shots on point. Dirt Rider getting eight for eight for eight in the bat chat. I didn't see what did uh, what did the Jaeger finally put out? Three K. The Jaeger put out thirty six ninety one. He led the game oh, wow. uh, in damage, but John Man Archer in the E four was only uh, only a couple hundred behind with thirty four fifty four. <laughs> Going into round four here. That is correct. Two, it one is currently two for, the Chiefs. for Chiefs and ODB one, one round. Chiefs in the red this time. I have got to swap my sides. That's okay. Boom. It's an easy click. Chiefs in the red on the left. ODB in the blue on the right. So it looks like there is a split on the north side too, but ODB, it's just one lonely IS-7 and the rest of the team is sitting on the, the 9-0 line, so the IS-7 can easily move over where it's opposite. That chat is flanking around there to get that spot, but I think he's going to be out of there before he's going to get a chance. Captain Audi's all by himself on the far 9 line. I think... Chiefs are going to be grouping up on him. Uh, save the IS-7s, I guess. Zach's music box stopped in F1. He's not going any farther. Probably wants to stay undetected. As long as nothing's over here, he probably wants to stay undetected and wait for uh, the encounter, the engagement to happen, and he'll sneak in. It's yeah, it looks like Deity and Boxhound are. Be brutal. It looks like Deity and Boxhound are holding down uh, that west side. Chiefs are slowly yeah, moving up think... on the nine line with their. This map is definitely not going to be conducive to any quick capping of any kind with no cover. Oh, the middle of the city. that's for sure. Now, yeah, I don't I've that. noticed uh, after spending a lot more time streaming than playing in the last uh, few months, uh, when I do get out there in pubs and I'm down on boots on the ground, <laughs> tracks on the on the ground, playing these maps, I notice there's a lot more little rolls to the hills in some of the maps that I that uh, are new that I. Oh. That I the old maps, you know, yeah, I obviously that's... know every nook and cranny, but some of the newer maps like this one, I, I didn't realize uh, how much hill there is. You can't yeah. shoot across And then the also, middle. also through, also on the uh, west side there, if you notice these concrete, you know, little walls, they're great to hide behind if you're in like, say, a uh, light tank, a uh, low to the ground, say the Russian tanks, you know. We're lightweight, but no. as I start talking, Zach, music box. He's got to run. You get slowly pushed. Yeah, so but ODB again, has killed. noticed the bat chat, and they are moving in for it. If, again, this is where these little hills. Ooh, come into bounces play. the shot from the PZ7. 
Wow. Full armor on a bat. Tank. And once he gets into these hills, he's he's practically gone because, as we yes, said, he's gone it's right not now. a clean shot. There's hills. You know, he disappears. the The hills actually provide enough camouflage coverage that he just disappeared behind there. Dola just took a giant hit from something. That I'd, I'm not sure if that was a double tap or what. We're going to leave Mr. Music Box to run because he's going to get away. So we're going to see this Jaeger who's posted up. He can yep. do what he did last game. There's a big shot from E100. He's, he's got the... CD line there down the down the center of the top half of the map. Yeah, that Jaeger is hold down behind a dirt pile, looking right down that road. Well, cap pressure is being put on. Like you said, there's these hills that yeah, I really didn't notice, but yeah, these uh, I sevens can just go hold down behind some of these little just undulations. I was watching one of the rebroadcasts on a on a previous battle on this map, and I was watching, and I was like, why aren't they just killing him? He's right there. <laughs> so I had to go check it out for myself, and there's a lot more coverage than what the sky cam really shows. Yeah, you got to be on the ground to get right into it to really see it. But I do not feel this is going to be a capped out match. No, it's no. just a it's I kind of feel a like it's a waste of time. Yeah. In the meantime, ODB, they're stuck. 19 is pushing the... here. He wants to take out Goku, but J Dog's coming in to make him pay to take that that kill shot. We have a in whole slow flank over here in the back with the E100 and the the, K, the Panzer uh, 7. They're just chasing yeah, that. Bad chat. That's they're just chasing <laughs> the uh, chasing the squirrel. They're chasing the rabbit. They're never gonna get them. Well, that's a success on the bat chat for splitting up two uh, really good tanks out of the fight. Yeah, music. Zach's music box over there. That's what we're talking about. Sometimes, sometimes you don't even have to fire a shot to be uh, effective to taking out two tanks. Like he's he's effectively taking two tanks out of the battle for his team, which clearly creates an overmatch. And and there's. Chiefs oh, know Archer what's just going down. on right now. Oh, one for one trade, but uh, looks like 19's in some trouble. Goku's going to go down, down to E4. Captain, but he might put the shot into Cook. Yeah, he does, because Cook had the uh, more damage. He was able to hit him uh, for a good amount of damage right. and take him on, put him on fire to take him right out. So. Captainality came up and just... Just surprise them in the ODB back. ODB kept it in. The only two tanks left two are tanks the ones that the have battle. been chasing that bad chat the entire time. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever do that again. No, the I-7's going to go down. I think BD's... Nope. A track shot. That's all that Panzer 7 was able to do. The best part about all this... How clutch would this be wait to and see watch? them come back? Zach's music box is going to do a big <laughs> lap around here, and he's going to be the one to come in and unload his clip into the, the mud bone here. He's going to be the one to finish it. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Unless time explodes. Oh, yeah. oh it's no, 27 it on the clock. Here comes Boxhound and his IS-7. He's going to go ahead and focus fire the Panzer 7. I don't think... I don't Final think tank. Music here comes box Music Box. Get there in time. You will. will we get it? Oh, there he is. Okay, one... Two. Oh, they call me a liar. Oh, Nineteen. You were wrong. Nineteen. The why? The suspense there was <laughs> killing us. <laughs> Man, I just would have liked to seen those two tanks in that battle. I think it could have been a lot closer than it was. Look at Archer putting out 4K. The Jaeger pulling out 32. I mean, just the amount of damage those two tanks did. On this map, they definitely got the meta down for Berlin. Chiefs do with pulling those things out. So the Chiefs take it three games to one in four rounds. That's a ton yeah, and, of damage by John. Think about Van it on Archer. Sand River. Sand River, Chiefs had them down to very low hit points. You know, three or four out of the seven tanks. But they just could not get the kills out, and uh, 
that's what won it for ODB. So for the teams out there, sometimes it doesn't matter how much damage you do, if you can't get the kills with the new meta, you won't win. Gonna be something interesting watching over on the EU side with with what I've seen of them play in the past. But I have They're caught a couple games back. where they get pretty. They get a little aggressive sometimes, but oh. sometimes yeah. you know I feel like we should pitch a tent. <laughs>